Now, um, there have been questions about uh, this particular demonstration, some concerns about the demonstration. Among other things, um, I think some of the notable concerns I've seen is that protests have been, ha have happened, at least the last one we saw, and we did not see any real response from the government regarding the demands of the protesters. Do you think that another protest is a step in the right direction? Um, thank you to your viewers, and I would want to say a good morning to every Ghanaian watching us this morning. Um, I'm surprised you are asking if governments had given any response or not, or in anticipation of any government response. Right from the onset, it has always been clear the trajectory on which President Ekufadu and his government would want to go on. So I get surprised if we ask what he's going to do. The citizen as we are, one of the key, I would say, weapon we have to speak directly to government is advocacy. So if you write letters to the, the government, the media is putting out documentaries, doing your part. He puts together a committee to see to it that all these issues affecting us, that is Galamse, mm -hmm. are rectified and the corporate brought to book. A report was written by the chairman of the committee, and at the end of the day, that report was poo -pooed. So if you ask us this morning what the government have done so far, for me, they are my, doing My, my zero. question is that there has been a protest in the past, and we have I'm, not I'm seen... I'm coming to that. Yes. So do you think that another protest is a step in the I'm right direction? I'm coming to that. Okay. So these people who went on the streets to demonstrate... One key thing I ask myself and everybody would want to know why these people were even arrested for the first one, the protest they did, and it has called for others to also now come out and say that we should free them and say no to the very things the first people protested against. Mm -hmm. As a people, one of the weapons we have, as I stated earlier, is advocacy. So if we spoke earlier, we assume the president didn't hear. We are speaking the second time. So all the people who are coming together for this protest, this protest I see from the interviews they have granted, it's very robust. So first off, they are starting from the point, going through an angle, giving a petition to parliament. <coughs> they say they will give a petition to the attorney general and they will put up a giant screen at the Independence Square for every ordinary Ghanaian to come there and see documentaries that the various media houses have put out concerning the issues. So if the first one government didn't hear, this is the second one we are hoping that the government will hear. And looking at whatever has brought us here thus far, I would want to say that the government's posture of being insensitive towards us is very nauseating. And then I listened to the Attorney General make a statement in one of his Mr. the press encounters. Yes. And then he says that the protesters were on a course to instill fear in the public with their demonstrations. The question I ask myself is that if people who are telling us of the menace are now the people instilling fear in us, Godfrey Dami, the first three words of his name represent a supreme being. But it is surprising that when he speaks, that is not seen in his conscience. So if the Galamse menace is not instilling fear in us enough, but the people who choose to talk about it are the ones instilling fear. That is the irony. Yesterday, I had a conversation with a doctor friend. She's a, a, a lady, and then she said she's wearing black to the hospital today. So the question I asked her was that, why black? Because if I am not feeling well on my hospital bed, and I see a doctor, wear, a doctor approaching black, black. Yes, <laughs> then I have my ideas actually, and I'm mekwana. But she says that. There are many things that a lot of people do not come out to join, not because they are not interested, uh, interested, but it's because of the kind of jobs they do. And if they leave for a while, it is kind of dire to, to assist them. So she is wearing black as a form of protest because she mentioned a certain fertility issue. And from a population point of view, I got scared. She said that this mercury we are consuming through the activities of Galamse is affecting our fertility. The sperm production of men, their testers, the ovulation of women in our productive system. Is that so? I was very shocked. I'm like, really? Uh, because I've had a lot of conversations around it and nobody is tackling it from that angle. So as we are 
a youthful generation because the people who are hitting the streets are the youth. So if after all this is said and done, you, you have worked very hard in an economy that there are no job opportunities for you, you hustle day in, day night to put food on your table, and then when it is time for you to give birth and reproduce, just by no fault of yours, because of a failed leadership, you are not able to produce. What does that to us as a people is that we would have a very large aging population and the dependency ratio would shoot. Because we are not reproducing. The, the younger generation will not be in that state to mm. produce. So that the independency ratio will be very high. And then the theming youth now would be burdened with tax because our workforce will decline. So the few people who will be working as citizens will now be burdened with, with the with tax net. And then at the end of the day, we are moving from frying pan to fire. All right. But one thing that I would want to say, ending to on add, this to end. topic, is that okay. as a people, we have always spoken against things that affect us. Let nobody make it look as if we are second class citizens. So if the citizens are complaining, then people who belong to the ruling party will now come and tell us that it is a collective effort and they have done their bit, and if it is not citizens, should just keep quiet and be in their corner. One thing they are forgetting is that if they are enjoying fat salaries, they are enjoying salaries that are paid by the ordinary Ghanaians. The very people who are affected by these Galamse issues are people who are not enjoying from the government. So what it is is that if we have lung cancer issues from inhaling these mercury substances, if we have kidney issues, if we are not able to give a fertility issues, if you give birth to a child with deformity, which will be a burden on the household income. At the end of the day, the people who are doing galamse and have been fingered by a report that has been put are people who can afford all these the, the treatments for all these issues we are going through. In our part of the world, lung cancer. It's, it's really difficult to fight and transplants are not even done in a part of the world. All right. So they have the money to All afford. Right. We do not have the money to Let afford. Come to so this now. morning we jump into the demonstration and tell the government that the people are not happy with him. So it's time he takes his job serious. All right.